Hi guys, this is our Isaac Newton video, and here are some facts about Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton was born in Colesterworth, England, and he. And another thing is that he first discovered his laws in about 1667. One of these was sparked by him an apple falling on his head. It's a pretty, pretty famous thing right there. Now he had went to school in Grantham at King's School back in his middle school elementary days, and then he had later gone to Trinity College in Cambridge for his high school and college days. Now, some, a little thing about his family is that his dad, his dad had died two weeks before Isaac was born. His mother did, then decided to move away and remarry, leaving little Isaac in the care of his grandmother. Then, while, um, the, his mother decided to come back after his stepdad had died. Now, his stepdad had died, and then, so when his, when his mother moved back, um, they, uh, she pulled him out of school. <laughs> And they, uh, he had to go work on a farm for, for a little bit, which probably ruined his whole King's School. And then a fun fact about him is that he was appointed as Fellow of Royal Society of London on January 11, 1672. Okay, so the first law of motion otherwise known as the law of inertia is an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. So. This toy car is at rest, and then if I push it, it's moving, and my hand, or when I push it, that's the unbalanced force. And then the rest of it is an object of motion continues in motion at the same speed and direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So the toy car is moving, and if I stop it with my foot, then that's an unbalanced force causing it to not go in the same direction at the same speed. I have the second law, which is acceleration is produced when a force acts upon a mass. The greater the mass, the greater the amount of force is needed to move it. So this chair with nothing on it is easy to move because it has less mass. But when David sits on it, it's harder to move because his mass adds a lot to the chair. Newton's third law is for every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. With this eraser, I will throw it and gravity will pull it down. And that is the opposite reaction. 